What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Kings of Leon. Yes, indeed, how about that? Kings of Leon making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Hot Stanky Garbage, and Hot Stanky Garbage wanted to see me react to the song by Kings of Leon called Tranai. I hope that's how it's pronounced. I mean, it, it could be pronounced another way, but uh, it's one N and, a, and an I at the end, so I, I'm going to go with Tranai. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing, and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This was posted by November Reagan. Sure, why not? And the video has 119,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Kings of Leon, Trenai, Bonnaroo 2004. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this! Sorry, I'm out.
look, they're not doing anything terrible. They're not doing anything bad. They're not doing anything wrong. Okay, from what I can hear, everything sounds correct. Everything sounds fine. Uh, nothing is sticking out like a sore thumb. Um, it, it, it all sounds like it's all going in the right direction. Having said that, it's going that way. I am going to go that way. I am going to get as far away from this song as possible. This is boring as hell. Uh, I am not enjoying this in any way, shape, or form. Um, the bass player is literally hitting that open E. Boom. 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 That's all we're getting, man, is that open E. Just not even moving. Not even, not even, not even playing quarter notes. Just whole notes the whole time. Whole notes the whole time. It's like, oh my God. Oh. Oh, the drummer is just hitting the tambourine. Bing. Bing. Ding. It just, uh. Somebody wake me up when it's over, seriously, because I'm about ready to fall asleep listening to this. this. This maybe I should listen to this when I have my insomnia attacks. Maybe, maybe when I, maybe I have those nights where I just cannot fall asleep and I'm up for like two days in a row. Maybe I should use this. Maybe I should use this. Th this might help. It just might. I know there are probably people who love this song, and it's, they, 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 they might be the, of the opinion that this is the greatest song that Kings of Leon has ever written. It's a glorious piece of music. It is genius lyrics, and it just it, it, it moves them and touches their soul. More power to those people, okay? I'm not going to discredit them and try to say that they're out of their minds or anything like that because I would be wrong on me. Uh, it's their opinion. They're absolutely entitled to it. Having said that, I am not one of those people. How much longer? Uh, almost three minutes. Dear Lord in heaven, let's get this over with. So, at the cherry on the chair, as on the call, we now go oh, through. Oh, the bass player's playing quarter notes now.
I'm torn on this. There were, for the most part, the song, the song was an absolute snooze fest. But there were those moments <laughs> about halfway through and towards the end where things didn't just kick up a notch. They kicked up a few notches. I don't know, man. I'm torn on this one. Um, Let me think about it. Let's see if I can make heads or tails of this. Uh, Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Kings of Leon with Trani or Trani or uh, Trani or Trani. I, I, T-R-A-N-I. Take that for what it's worth. Uh, this was a request from Hot Stanky Garbage. Yeah, he delivers another one, doesn't he? Uh, look, I I'm not going to mince words on this. I'm just going to tell you exactly what I think and how I feel, and that's really all there is to it. Um, let's start with the rating. Out of a possible five stars, believe it or not, I'm actually going to give that three stars. Yeah, three out of five stars. Uh, trust me, I'm just as surprised as everybody else is about that. But honestly, that is the score that I believe this song deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? I hated the song. I absolutely did. I'm sorry. I'm not going to mince words. I'm not going to be political about this. I absolutely hated the song. I couldn't stand it. I could not wait for it to be over. Uh, this is absolutely not my wheelhouse. It is not my cup of tea. It's not my jam. It's not blowing my skirt up in any way, shape, or form. No, 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 no. No, God, please, no, no, no. I could not wait for this song to be over. I'm so glad it's over, and I'm so glad I never have to listen to this song ever again. Uh, just left an absolute horrible taste in my mouth. Like, imagine drinking, you know, three Red Bulls first thing in the morning when you wake up. You, like, literally, sit up in bed, and there's a refrigerator right next to you, and you pop open three Red Bulls, and you chug them. That aftertaste in your mouth. I remember that aftertaste just after drinking, like, half of one, and it's disgusting. Imagine, like, quadrupling or sextupling that, that feeling. I've never done it before. I don't ever want to do it. But I could have just imagined in my head, just from drinking half of one of those godforsaken things, how awful it tastes and how bad it would be to drink three of them. Dear God, uh, the aftertaste would just sour you to everything else for the rest of the day. That's how I felt after listening to this song. I will never listen to this song ever again by choice. I, have, I want absolutely nothing to do with this song ever again. Having said that, it's not a badly written song. It's not. It's... It, it makes sense. Everything that they did made sense. Everything lined up. Nothing sounded bad or sounded sour. Boring? Absolutely. <laughs> now, I can't imagine the bass players having a whole lot of fun sitting there. You can see, we're, we're, we're okay, so we're in 6 8, but holding on to those dotted half notes, not whole notes, I was wrong about that, but those dotted half notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just playing on the downbeats and sustaining a single note. I can't imagine that's a whole lot of fun for the bass player. I I'm sitting here trying to imagine me playing that. And good God, I'd be bored out of my mind. Uh, the guitar playing, sparse, very sparse. I, obviously the vocals were the star of the show here that, that that's very obvious and they and listen that's their goal that was their intention that's what they were trying to accomplish mission accomplished absolutely they did it and i gotta say i may not like it but they did it well um it was an absolute snooze fest of a song but i think that's what they were going for they were going for something sparse for the majority of the song now here's the thing and this is what brought it up to three stars. There was that plot, there was that spot in the middle, and there was a spot toward the end where things kicked up. And I don't mean kicked up a notch. No, they kicked up like six or seven notches. It, it went, it went hardcore. And I was digging those parts to, for no other reason but to see the bass player have some fun and see the guitar player have some fun and to rock out a little bit and get some energy going on that stage. Unfortunately, it ended. And we went right back to it again. Now, again, 
Switching gears like that, always a good thing. Gets the audience reinvested, gets the audience attention again, which with a song like this, believe me, they needed to do. Because by the time they got to that point where they kicked it up a notch, they probably lost at least half of their audience in the crowd right there going, well, this would probably be a good time to check my emails. You know, they probably lost them, I'm willing to bet. And then they kicked into that part and it got everybody's attention. It got my attention. Absolutely. I was like, okay, okay, we're kicking it up. That's good. That's good. I like that. And to see the stage energy from the guys in the band playing, having that much energy and effort being put out, it created a lot of stage energy and stage presence and showmanship. Gotta love that. Had Gotta include some stage interaction in there too, because the lead singer turned his back to the crowd, which I'm never a big fan of unless there's a reason for it. And I figured out the reason he was doing it was so he could interact with the drummer. Okay, fine. There's some stage interaction. And he didn't stay turned around for very long. He was only there for about 10 to 15 seconds, and then he turned around and faced the crowd again. I can handle that. I can stomach that. That's okay. As long as there's a purpose, you know? And there was a purpose. Uh, you know, it, overall, like I said, did they do anything wrong? No, they didn't do anything wrong. They did everything pretty well, actually. They did it. They actually. Believe it or not, at the end of the day, I would dare say they, they did a, I, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, they did a really good job, they did. I'm just not a fan of anything they did, that's all. Uh, it was just boring, it was a snooze fest, I will never listen to this song again if I can help it. But at the end of the day, it is a really good job. So, I, I was thinking for me personally, I'm gonna give that a two, and then, you know, but looking at it objectively, I'm giving it a four. Uh, and, and overall, it, it was it was what it was. So I'm giving it three stars. I think it was a pretty good job overall. So three out of five. Yeah, I feel that's that's appropriate. So we're gonna stick with that. Three out of five stars. Final score. I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of reactions, reviews, and rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.